Well, typically on a test, you're, you're given something like this where they're asking you to find a unit vector of some, you know, some vector with a magnitude, right? We're asked to find a unit vector. And we said anytime we have any sort of vector like this with some sort of angle, we say unit vector in the x direction is just cosine of theta x, in the y direction is cosine of theta y, and in the z direction is just cosine of uh, cosine of theta z. Okay, so we know this to be true. Now, the difficulty is just finding out what theta is, okay? So, if I'm looking at the x direction, the unit vector is always given from the, uh, you know, from whatever coordinate you're going, you're from whatever coordinate you're, you're starting, whether it's x or y or z, and you go straight to the vector itself. So, if I'm looking at this, I want to find unit vector in the x direction, well, I, I, put, my, I put my pen, at the x and I go all the way from the x to the vector itself, okay? Now look, look what angle I covered. In this quadrant, we know this is a right angle, so we know this is 90 degrees, and we know theta is 45, yeah? So if theta is 45, and we know the sum of the angles in each quadrant, right? If the sum of the angles, because essentially what we're doing is forming right triangles, yeah? So we know the sum of the equal, if you know the unit circling, we know all for four quadrant total up to equal to 360 degrees. That means that that means that if we divide that by four, each quadrant have to be equal to 90 degrees. So if we know this is 45 and we know the sum of one quadrant has to be 90, well, if I take 90 minus 45, that will give me this angle. So if I take 90 degrees minus 45 degrees, well, that's just 45 degrees. So that will give me this angle here. So from the x direction, this is cosine. Well, we just passed 90 degrees. So this is cosine of 90 plus 45, which we just calculated. So therefore, in the x direction, this is cosine of 90 plus 45. Yeah. Now, what about the y direction? Well, Starting from the y, we're going to the vector itself. So we just covered an angle of 45, which we just calculated. We just said this was 45. So starting from the y, this is just cosine of 45. So this is going to be cosine of 45. And then z direction, that's always zero. Well, that's not always zero. The fact that we're in the xy plane, that's the reason why our, 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 um, our z value is zero. So we, we know cosine of 45. Okay, we cosine of 45. And so if I'm looking at this, what's cosine of uh, 90 plus 45? Well, that's just uh, cosine of 90 plus 45. That's just negative 7. Oh, 7. Okay. Cosine of 45 is actually square root of 2 over 2. And if we simplify that, that's just 0 0.707. And that's 0. So this will be b hat so that's your unit vector so that's how we find it now there's a different way of doing it okay we could also go the other direction don't you see yeah so starting from this from starting from from the x here if i go all the way around well i just covered 90 i go all the way around i just covered another 90 and i go up we just said this was 45 so this would be another way of doing this would be um, let's see where I want to put it. Another way of doing this would be cosine. Yeah, we just did this. We just went at 90, 90. So 90 and 90 is 180. So this would be cosine of 180 plus 45. That's another way of doing the x direction. Now, what about the y direction? Well, from the y, yeah, from the y, we go 90, 90, 90. So that's 270. And then we go 41. So if we add those together, we take cosine of 270 plus 45. I'm sorry about that, 41. And we know that is zero in the in the in the in the, in the z direction. And so if I look in the, if I look at this, if I take cosine of 180 plus 45, I get negative 0 0.707. I take cosine of 270 plus 45. I get 0 0.707 and then that's z and the z and that's zero in the z direction. So again, uh, just taught you two ways to, to do these things and to break them down.
Now be careful where you where you choose to be Y and X, okay? I cannot just assume that all this all this line is Y. I just gotta assume that this is Y and only this is X. And the reason being is that you'll see that if I actually start if I actually assume that this is Y also, then if I take cosine of 90 plus 45, look what I'll get. Cosine of 90 plus 45. Yeah. I'll actually get negative 7.07, .07, which is not correct. The answer is and the answer is positive, okay? So be very careful. So go where they define to be Y and X and stick to that.